Steve here in the Down to Earth Woodworking Shop. First of all, I need to let you know that this video is going to be a bit different than my other videos. And for all you gracious and kind people that have been watching my videos, I really, really appreciate it. But this video is not going to be about woodworking per se. It's going to be about my other great love, which is coffee. And I'm going to be using these, what I call, Z-Dripper drip coffee stands to make a perfect cup of coffee. So if you're not interested in coffee at all, I would ask that you just hit the like button and move to the next video. But if you have even a mild interest in coffee and would like to see how to make the best cup ever, keep on watching. Let's go take a look. For the cleanest, purest, best tasting cup of coffee, nothing beats a simple pour over brewing technique. In five or six minutes, start to finish, pour over brewing allows you to adjust and control some of the critical variables to fine tune a genuinely flavorful cup of coffee. The first step is to get some water into the kettle and get it to boiling. A little extra will come in handy. Now you could use a kettle on the stove or you could use an electric kettle like this but one thing you would probably appreciate is having a gooseneck like this on your kettle. It helps in the uh, pour to be more controlled. Now while the water is coming to a boil, set up the brew station to get ready to brew. This is the Z-Dripper made in the Down to Earth Woodworking Shop. The Z-Dripper is so named because the side supports look like a Z. You want to use the Hario V60 glass drip filter holder and use the matching Hario paper filters because the cone shape at the bottom is one of the keys to how this system works. Fold the paper over on the seam, round it up a little bit, and place it in the filter holder. Now you can weigh or measure your coffee beans you probably already know that your beans need to be freshly roasted and ground right before you brew. These are ready to go, but don't grind them yet. And last but not least, either put a decanter or a cup underneath to catch the coffee. The water just came to a boil, the kettle cut off, so I'm going to pour some of this boiling water through this filter to rinse out the paper taste and to preheat the filter cone and the cup. Now I can grind my beans. I can dump the fresh ground coffee into the filter and I'm just gonna level that coffee just a little bit. I'm gonna pour out this water to drip through and we're ready to start brewing. So the first thing that I want to do is just drizzle a tiny little bit of water on the top of the grounds. A few drops will come through, but really what we're doing here is what the experts call the bloom. And if you look at it, it does kind of look like the coffee is blooming. What this does is it pre-wets, pre-infuses the coffee and allows the carbon dioxide that's trapped in the coffee during the roasting process to escape. That process should take around 30 to 45 seconds. Then, after that's done, I start the timer and start to pour. Now you could pour by weight or you could pour by time. I'm going to pour by volume and then hope that the time works out about right. The key here is to pour very, very slowly. 
We want to maintain the coffee level at the same level it acquired during the bloom part of the process. If you have a steady hand and a nice gooseneck pot like this, you can probably pour fairly steadily. If not, you can pulse pour, which is to pour a little bit in, and then pour a little bit more, and then pour a little bit more. And what you want to do is you want to watch your level or watch your weight if you choose to do that until you get pretty close to what you're trying to achieve. I want to get to about right here on this cup and I kind of know from experience about how much is going to drip through after I finish pouring. And we're just about there. And there we go. Now this will finish pouring out and then we will have an excellent cup of coffee. If you poured at the right speed, the actual pouring and dripping time should be around a minute 45 to 2 minutes and 15 seconds depending on your grind. I'm usually around 2 minutes and 15 seconds this is going to be about 205 this time. And there we go. Put something under there to catch those last few drips and we have a wonderful cup of coffee. The Z Dripper drip filter cone holder is handmade in the down to earth woodworking shop. Each is crafted from complementary blends of native and exotic hardwoods like dark walnut, curly cherry, spalted maple, zebra wood, and ash. The units are made specifically to fit the Hario V6002 glass filter holder. There is room under the filter holder for a coffee mug or a decanter. The unit is also designed so that most commercial digital scales can be used under the entire assembly if you would like to add water to your brew by weight. The Z Dripper is finished with a hand rubbed polyurethane, an oil combination that is long lasting, UV stable, is very resistant to water and easy to wipe clean. If you are really, really into good coffee, this is a beautiful way to make pour over coffee.